Okay, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, as you can see, still in the bedroom in a slightly different location this time. Hopefully that lighting will be a little bit different, a little bit different, a little bit better. <laughs> Hoping the lighting will be a little bit better in this position than it was at the other end of the bed. Um, still not entirely sure whether this is going to be the new permanent setup or not. Um, it's all about, you know, how well the space works, how, you know, how it all looks, how it all sounds, that kind of jazz. Um, okay. <laughs> So I'm not going to spend like five minutes talking about it again this time. I'm pretty sure you guys have worked out what's going on at this point. I'm trying to figure out this new flat that I'm living in and where it's best to do things and you know, the best way of going forward from here. Um, and uh, this, is, this is my next try for lighting, for sound, for, for whatever else. So there's going to be two filmed in this position. And then we'll see. We'll see. This might be the new permanent position. It might just be a new temporary position. Um, we'll see. <laughs> All right. So at the end of the last one, I said that this one was going to be titled or was going to be about how spring is the best season. Um, and I also said that was something I definitely agree with. And it's a bit of an odd one to be doing right at the end of spring. I get that. But... I don't know. Um, I don't know whether it's because I myself am, technically speaking, a spring baby. Um, I am born in March, um, after the point in time that March does become spring, so I'm definitely spring born. Um, <laughs> barely, but, but I'm definitely spring born. Um, or if it's the fact that, you know, there's just something about spring that makes me feel happier. It's not like overly hot like summer tends to be i find summer tends to be too hot i partly because of the medical conditions that i do have and partly because i'm not a person for heat and for sunshine really anyway i do tend to find that i struggle a lot during the summer it's not a comfortable season for me whatsoever um i'm not bothered too much about the cold of the winter i can normally find ways of making myself warmer so the winter doesn't bother me too much and I don't mind autumn. Autumn again is that time of year where it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Um, there's just something about spring in particular that I always find it's a season that makes me feel the happiest. And I don't know if that's, you know, to do with the, the world kind of waking up again after the winter and you start to see flowers coming out, you start to see the sun shining a little bit more, um, you start to get that warmth coming through and it's not too hot, it's it's just, you know, kind of that right balance and I don't know, there's something about the world kind of coming back to life again and reinvigorating itself that just, it appeals to me um, as, as a sort of, as a concept and, and as a season, it's definitely for me, from my point of view, best season because I think it encapsulates how I like to feel the best. I like to feel, you know, like things can begin again, like things can move forward, like, you know, if, if the winter is this kind of thing where everything has come to an end um, and then spring is where everything gets renewed, I think it, it kind of encapsulates my, let's face it, optimistic view of life, which is every end is a new beginning, every bad thing that happens is an opportunity for something really good to happen uh, you just have to look at it the right way you just have to find the good within you know the bad and, and the good at the end of winter <laughs> for want of a better way of putting it is spring it's you know everything coming back to life again it's you know we've gone through those harsh cold wet rainy months um and now we have emerged on the other side and things are ready to grow again and life is ready to start again. And yeah, it, I think, yeah, I think me as a realistic optimist um, can see something about spring and something about how the way spring is and 
and how spring kind of feels that kind of reflects my outlook on life um, much more than the other seasons do. Um, and that, like I said, there are also other things I enjoy about spring. I like the fact that it's the world is starting to warm up again without it being too hot. Um, you know, I, I love the spots of colour that you get when the flowers start coming out. And I know, there's just something about spring that always makes me really happy. I'm always happiest when spring comes around again. I mean, I'm miserable during summer. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, never miserable during the summer. I struggle during the summer, but I'm never miserable during the summer. And then autumn happens and the world starts to cool off again. And I, I think autumn is probably my second favourite season. Just because it's, it, yes, everything is starting to, to, to die and... Um, prepare itself for, for the winter months where things don't really grow and, and, and don't really go anywhere. We're talking like, you know, in terms of plants and stuff like that. <laughs> but it also is like the world cooling down and it's not hot. You don't have that extreme of temperature. And again, um, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate where in the country I live, we do tend to get fairly mild winters. I mean, you know, I, I'd argue how mild our winters actually are, but I know compared to other parts of the country, we get mild winters. So we don't get it like really freezing cold down here, which is probably why I don't mind winters quite so much as I could. And that has to be the reason why I'm, I'm not opposed to the winter. Um, so, yeah, I think... I think winter is probably my third favourite season and, and usually summer is probably my least favourite season so it's kind of weird that I like the season that comes before and then the season that comes after and then I'm not really a big fan of summer. I mean I have to get through summer. That's that's what it is. Summer, summer my body does not like summer um, and it's just hot and I just can't do anything. Um, <laughs> I know this is a really weird vlog. I'm talking about why I like or dislike seasons. Um, it's probably a point in here somewhere. Um, yeah, and I mean, I think I don't think there has to be a point. And I think I can just talk randomly about why I like or dislike particular seasons, and there not really be a point in. Yes, I can relate my enjoyment of spring to. The symbolic meaning of spring and you know and, and the way I view the world and my, my outlook on life uh, definitely but at the same time I think I just like spring because I like spring I like it as it's not too hot uh, it's not too cold and it's the same reasons I kind of like autumn but unlike autumn it's the world waking up again opposed to the world getting to sleep again um, and then I'm not such a big fan of the, the extremes I don't I really don't like summer. <laughs> I don't I don't like all the light. It gives me a headache. I don't, I don't like the heat because it makes my body really painful and I struggle. Um, and I'm, I'm just, yeah, I don't like summer at all. And then winter things are sort of okay. They're not fantastic, but I don't struggle quite as much uh, when it comes to all my health stuff. So yeah, summer is my least favourite season, guys. And that's probably a really unpopular opinion. <laughs> um, but if it helps, spring is my favourite season, which, you know, I, I think a lot of people like spring. I, I, it's not uncommon for me to hear that people actually do really like spring. Um, so, you know, yeah. okay. <laughs> weird, weird topic now coming to an end. Um, so, next time, um, <laughs> that was a really weird transition. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all I can say about that rather weird uh, topic choice. Um, but it's nice to like, throw some weird ones in sometimes. Um, so, next time, the title that I've given it is True to Myself. Um, I think I know where I'm going with that. Um, so I hope you guys have sort of found this one interesting. Um, if there's nothing else, as a kind of an odd conversational starter. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs>
If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!